it's Jacqueline from Succulent 613. Today's video is all about sunburn on your succulents, what it looks like, and what to do if your plants get burned. Let's get started. So let's start off by talking about preventing sunburn. What's the best way to prevent sunburn on your plants? The answer is to acclimate them, which means to introduce them into the environment slowly. When you buy a succulent, it has likely spent its entire life in a greenhouse which means it has been exposed to filtered sun and never been exposed to direct sun rays. When you bring it home and you place it outside in full sun, it will likely look like this the next day. So rule number one, never put your newly bought succulents in direct sunlight at first. To be on the safe side, here's what I do when I buy a new succulent from a greenhouse. Put your succulents outdoors in full shade for one week. What does full shade mean? Think of it this way. It should be a place in your yard where you could stand all day without sunscreen and you'd never get a sunburn. The second week, place them in an area with bright shade. Bright shade means it's bright, but no actual sun rays touch your plant. The third week, try placing your succulent in bright filtered sun. This could be a place that receives a little bit of sun, maybe an hour or two during the day. To do this, I put my succulents next to something tall, like a fence or some patio furniture, so they're not getting direct sun rays all day. The fourth week, you could try a few hours of full sun for the first few days, and then gradually increase the time. The most important thing is to be observant. All plants are different when it comes to sun tolerance. If you notice any kind of marks on your plants, maybe that location has too much sun. The next scenario is one that I see a lot. What happened to my succulent? Is it dead? What do I do? How? Help is on the way here. Your succulent is sunburned. Is it dead? No. Is it less attractive? Yes. Oh god, I'm ugly. <laughs> it's not fair! It's not fair, I tell you. But it's not dead. It's time to find a better place for your succulent. Find an area that gets more shade and put your succulent there. Will the burned leaves turn back to normal? No, 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 no. But the new growth in the middle will be just fine. Eventually, the old burned leaves will die off anyway. So as much as your plant is less attractive, it's not dead, and it will bounce back as it grows. Just find a shadier spot for it. How do you know if it's sunburn? If you haven't watered your succulent recently, the soil is dry, and it's been in some sort of direct sun, it's likely sunburn. The leaves will still be firm. If the leaves are yellow, mushy, and see-through, and you've watered recently, then it's likely rot. Here are some photos of rot, and here are some photos of sunburn. What if only the bottom leaves of your succulent are dried up and crispy? Is this sunburn? No, no, it's no. No, sunburn will likely show up on all of your plant's leaves or most of your plant's leaves. If your succulent looks like this, with just the bottom leaves dried up and dying off, it's likely just from the succulent growing. Succulents naturally lose their bottom leaves as they grow. Another way that your succulents can burn is from watering them at the wrong time of the day. If you water your succulents in the heat of the day and the water stays piled on the leaves in the hot sun, you will likely get sunburn from the reflection. There is one other way that a succulent will tell you when it's getting too much sun, even if it doesn't show sunburn on its leaves. It might change color and close up its leaves, protecting itself from the sun's rays. It's kind of like a succulent's version of the fetal position. When my succulents do this, it's their way of telling me that they need a shadier spot to live. Remember, all succulents are different. Some varieties can handle full sun with no issues, and some succulents seem to do better with morning sun only, or maybe even partial shade. The best way to find out if your succulents are doing well is by observing them. Succulents will show concerns pretty quickly, so check on them every day. There are some succulents that I won't even put outside. Check out my video called Indoor Only Succulents to learn more. 
Thanks for watching! If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up, hit subscribe, or leave a question in the comments.